Hello, Internet. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a chill weekend. I know I am. You know, I just decided I am going to chill. <sighs> I'll talk more about myself towards the end. We're like the real, the real vibers um, can hear, but welcome to my channel. I'm going to be reacting to, to Mimi's reaction to these alpha males. If you don't know Tamimi, she is a content creator here on YouTube, and she typically makes videos calling out, you know, kind of stuff that's, like, not cool. And I'm into that kind of stuff. I'm into stuff calling out stuff that's not cool, okay? I'm into that. Um, I don't edit my videos, okay? If you ask me to speed it up or slow it down, I will ask you um, what... You know, how can I send you my video so you can edit for me? I don't edit my videos. And I'm not a reaction channel. I'm just some chick online who who likes to post whatever she wants to post. So if you're going to subscribe, subscribe because you vibe. And if you don't vibe, you don't need to announce it, baby. You don't need to bring down everybody else's vibe. Um, one more disclaimer I will state before talking uh, when a black woman is talking about alpha males, unless she's like, oh, yes, yes, the entire time, there will be guys who are attracted to these videos. It happens without fail. Like, without fail. Listen, I'm not a, I'm not a big YouTuber at all. Um, I don't have that many. Like, I'm just here. Okay. But without fail, these guys come. And they say the same thing over and over. And they don't listen. That's that's the thing about these guys. Like, I could tolerate them if they actually listen, like if they actually paid attention, but they don't. So let me be very crystal clear because y'all say the exact same thing. It's like y'all are robots. It's like y'all are robots and you copy and paste the exact same thing. I have never said. Nor has anybody that I reacted to so far ever said that men and women are exactly the same. We never said that. We never said that. We never said men and women are exactly the same. We did not say that. We did not say there are no differences between these genders and sexes. We never said that. Okay, I just had to put that disclaimer because you know how annoying it is. You know how annoying it is that somebody claims they watch your whole video and all they got to say is, men and women are not the same. It's very annoying. I get grates on my nerves. Okay. <sighs> this is 28 minutes. So, like, clean your room, you know, braid your hair, eat lunch, chill and vibe with me as we cringe together and react and comment on these alpha males and Tamimi's reaction to them because she's just now finding out about them. If you don't know Tamimi, check her out. If you if you enjoy content calling out dumb stuff and unfair stuff and stuff that's just plain wrong, if you're into that type of content, check out Tamimi. I like her. All right, let's go. Damn, what would happen is I would take a chance with dating these type of women. No, I don't need you. One, I don't even need women to make money. Why would I want you making money? I like his color saturation. I want to hire his editor. Money. For what? I have unlimited money. I have so much money. What I want you to do is just be pleasant and smile. Men and women are different. We're not equal. We're not the same whatsoever. That's one thing I noticed about these dudes. When when anybody says men and women are equal, they, they get so upset. Like, I feel like they have decided to not understand what being equal means, right? Like being equal does not mean you're the same. It does not mean you're a carbon copy of each other. That's not what equal means. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't know. <laughs> like in school when we learned about, you know, the civil rights movement and all this stuff, we understood what equal meant. We understood that equal does not mean everybody is the same we we understood <laughs> i don't know it's like that understanding just completely goes out the window for, with these guys i mean i don't know girl like 
if you are going, if you're one of these dudes, like you're one of these dudes who was about to type, men and women are not the same. Okay. So you f- you're you feeling the dude. Can you explain to me why all of a sudden y'all don't understand what we mean when we say equal anymore? Like when it comes to, when it comes to discussing every other thing, you understand what equal means. But but when it comes to genders, all of a sudden, you don't know what it means. Can I would love someone to explain that. Alpha males. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <sighs> okay. Alpha males are a, uh, a new breed here on the internet that have apparently been circulating over the past few years. And I guess it's gone completely over my head because I'm just finding out about it over these past few weeks. And- yes, girl. It's gone over your head. Now, here's my theory on it. I... I first found out about alpha males via the black community, okay? Um, Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if almost all of the dudes (laughs) um, that she features are black dudes. Um, There are definitely, like, other ethnic groups and races who are doing alpha male podcasts, but... I think it started in the black community. I really, I really think it did. I think it started with like black nerdy guys. Like, have y'all ever seen that cartoon of like, is this black kid in school? And he's like trying to ask out this black girl. And he's like very nerdy with like square glasses and like buck teeth and a computer. He's like, I, li- I really like you. I like to go out with you. She's like, no. And she goes out with some like football guy. And then it's like, 20 years later and it shows the nerd guy like in a suit and like with all this money <laughs> and then it shows the the girl that he tried to ask out now a woman and she's pregnant and she's like please I want to date you now and he's like get away from me <laughs> have y'all seen that before that's what I imagine I when this stuff started ha- coming out <laughs> I kind of think it started with that. And I think the precursor to that was all this alpha, beta, omega, sigma stuff. I think that stuff came, was becoming popular even before the podcasts became popular. And I always thought that stuff was weird, okay? I am a huge fan of Breaking Bad. So it's super annoying. Like, you know, YouTube sends you recommended shorts, those them little short videos. And it'll always be because I'm a Breaking Bad fan, okay? So I, if it's Breaking Bad, I click. And so part of that is there are these dudes who think Walter White is alpha. He's alpha. You know, got <laughs> Gustavo Fringe is Sigma grind, Sigma grind. And it's always like these pages that are like, you know, for dudes with lions talking about, you know, hustle, like, don't stop until you die. Ah, you know, all this stuff. And it's so annoying. Like, it's so annoying. Okay, anyway, let's continue. And it is just such a gem. I shouldn't have to say, cook for me when I come home from work. Or right. I shouldn't have yeah. to say, the place should be spotless when I walk That's in. Right. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not off. That's right. Um, I know you have to, like, um, you have to, like, define that in your relationship. So, yeah, you do. You do have to. I don't know. Like, I think he said that because he feels like a woman should just automatically know to do that. But no, like every relationship, this is the thing that they don't like when you say this. What I'm about to say, because of this phrase I'm about to say, somebody's going to comment some nonsense. But every relationship is different. Every, Every, every relationship is different and has its own dynamics. Okay. Because every human has like different personalities and everybody's different. So, so yes, you do. Like you do have to like state what you're looking for in your relationship. Fun and games here. This isn't a circus by any means. There is a lot of concern that we are going to be diving into along with this. But uh, I want to make it clear that we're not laughing with these podcasters. No, no, no. We're laughing at them. Yeah. Unless she's worthy, you don't go meet her parents, okay? Remember, you're the prize, not her. She's bringing you to her family to show off. That's a privilege that she has to earn. If you have. Oh, no. I was actually about to agree with him until his last part. So 100%, if you are not serious with somebody, don't meet their family. 
don't do that. That's embarrassing for you. That's embarrassing for you. Don't go meet their family if you're not serious with them. But then he says she's, she's bringing you to the family to show off. No, it's like the same reason you would bring her to your family. You, she, you bring somebody to your family because you feel they have, you guys have reached a certain level of closeness that they want to see how their family reacts to you. I don't like, this is so interesting to me, the way he views things in life. It's like so different. When I bring a guy to meet my family or friends, I, it's a test for him. It's, it's a test is to see if he passes the test and same for me. Well, that's how I view it. If a guy brings me to meet his family, I am like, oh my God. Okay. Right. Because if I like the guy, I want to impress the family so that I pass that test. Anyway, that's interesting. Two brain cells to rub together. You might think there's no way that these people can be serious. I have to unfortunately inform you that yes. Girl, okay. Let me tell you, somebody complained in my other video that I kept repeating, like the guy was saying, a woman should be utterly dependent. And I kept like repeating that over and over. And so it was like, oh my gosh, we get it. You don't have to repeat it over and over. Like I kept pressing rewind. But I did that so that, because I know people don't listen, right? Like I, re I rewound it so you could hear that over and over so you can hear and like soak in that the guy I was reacting to literally thinks women should be utterly dependent on somebody and like sometimes I'm like are you really serious or are you just saying this because you know you know you know we'll get a buzz I but I know like at least 70 percent of what they're saying they're they're serious they are being serious. The first time I heard about alpha males or high value men was people making fun of them on TikTok and saying some really ridiculous stuff that I thought was exaggerated for comedy. For Baby girl, she thought it was a joke. No, like all of the people who make fun of these guys, the things they say is literally what these dudes say. It's so like you will you she didn't believe it. You would if you were not familiar, you would not believe it. You would just think oh, that's just a joke, right? Like they wouldn't actually say that, right? No, they do. Entertainment. And when females cheat, their heart is in it. And that hurts. They don't even realize it's all emotions. It's all tied together. But when a man cheats, Listen, listen to me, okay? Listen to this part. When a man cheats, it's just physical. And those females out here don't get it. Like, You know what's funny about this? You know, I don't know the statistics of this stuff, okay? I was told that I'm an anomaly. Listen, by the first and foremost, I don't cheat and never have and never will. But, um, like, I definitely don't have my heart in it if I'm doing anything with a guy unless I tell you my heart is in it my heart is not in it <laughs> I don't know and I know there are women who can't they can't separate like their hearts in it if they do and people have tried to tell me well the oxytocin and endorphins and da -da -da -da, and I'm like I mean sure in the moment but I that doesn't mean I want to like build a life with you like I don't know Maybe I'm different. You know what I'm saying? I might be different. But you can't tell me dudes don't. I understand that for sometimes a guy just needs to get his rocks off. But if you are getting your rocks off consistently by the same person, don't you catch feelings. Don't tell like you can't tell me that because that's what has been my experience. <laughs> My personal experience has been I'm not interested in anything more with you and the dude is trying to literally propose to me. Tell me why a dude tried to – he really thought if he told me he wanted to marry me that, like, all of a sudden I will start giving a damn. Like, well, I don't know. Everyone's different. So I don't know. Another guy said you need to learn to speak in generalities. Okay, that's the other thing. They got mad that – 
I don't, I'm not speaking like generally. I'm not taking some statistic that says 65% did it, did it, therefore I'm going to just say generalities. Uh, I don't know. I like, you can speak about generalities for sure, but you can also like acknowledge and not get upset that, you know, if 70% of people do X, there's still that 30% who do Y. You know what I mean? Like, you can still acknowledge that people are different. Like, they be whining, oh, it's a double standard. Yeah, and it should be that way. Because with you, it's emotion. With me, it's not. Come to find out that these are things that these popular <laughs> podcasts believe in like gospel. If a girl is your girlfriend, she is your main woman, and she's advertising her body on the internet for us. Hold on. You have to know, you have to understand this dude. Um, this dude, listen, I don't know his name. I, I, this podcast is from a podcast called Fresh and Fit. I don't know which one. I don't know if he's fresh or fit. I don't know which one he is, okay? But I've heard a lot about him, and I've heard his voice a lot. And you need to understand he is not operating under the ideals of monogamy. He does not believe in getting married and he does not believe in like having one serious committed partner. He believes in um, polygamy and the style of polygamy that he wants to do. And yes, I, I meant to say polygamy, not polyamory. The type of polygamy he wants to do is the one where one dude has many wives and the wives don't ha only have him. And, you know, if that's what you want to do, cool. Like some, some there are people who are down for this. There, there are people who will, who like that, like whatever you're looking for, I believe you'll find it. Um, and I know culturally, I think he looks East African to me. Okay. He looks East African, um, and I know there are some Middle Eastern cultures in African cultures where the like the richest dude does that. The richest dude has many wives, and he gives them allowances, and <laughs> and I think that's what he wants to do. I think that's what he wants, and and that's why he's trying to build this persona and make all this money because he that's what he's trying to do but I think it's important that you know that <laughs> right because then you can understand why he's saying what he's saying you can understand he's not operating from the typical like I love you you know I love you and only you and I'm choosing to com be committed to you he's not operating from that standpoint so when he says, if you, that's your girlfriend, that's your main woman, like there's a reason why he said main woman. You get what I'm saying? Like maybe to you, you're like, yeah, girlfriend. But to him, he's thinking like <laughs> the bottom B, you know what I'm saying? The bottom B, the, the first, the first wife, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just some context. Other men to look at that is cheating. I want you to be faithful to me. I that's what that's all, all I want. Same, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want you to be faithful to me. See, I can respect that. Now, Myron, please. Yo, this is the first time I hear that boy talk. This boy, you can't, you don't even know what he looked like, right? Like, this boy never Yo, talked. When you and then even he passed the mic to the other guy. Okay, his name is Myron, huh? I'm trying to move this. That boy never talks. Why is that? Yo, yo. If you are a Fresh and Fit fam, can you please let me know why does he never speak? He never, sp he never, like, when he talks, it's never something from his own brain. What is that? And how do y'all not see that as, like, beta male? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Deal with a certain caliber of guy, you're not going to get him to yourself. Like, I, I need to drill this in women's head. Like, yo, the more money and status a man has, the less likely he's going to be faithful to you. You have to, it's a trade off. When you get a top tier guy, guess what? Every other woman is going to want him. And you have to accept the uncomfortable reality that you're going to have to share him. Yeah, that's a double standard. Blah, blah, blah. 
What does he consider top tier? I think when he says top tier, what he means is like money and like social status. But dude, like this is the mental. So another dumb comment I got was somebody was trying to tell me about you women only want the top 1% of men. And it's like you, I don't want to sound classist or elitist, okay? But I want to just mention, like, this is very much the mentality of people who are from a lower social class. I don't, <laughs> I don't want that to sound bad, but there are people who are from a higher class, they tend to date other people in that class, right? So if you're from a family of daddy warbuckses, you will probably date somebody else from a family of daddy warbuckses, okay? If you are not in that class, you can try to climb your way up. Perfect example is Candace Owens. I hate Candace Owens. I hate her. I do not like this woman, but that's what she did. She worked her way up to get to a certain, a new social status so that she can now be seen as an option to men in that social status. And now she's married to this guy who comes from generational wealth money. You know what I'm saying? Like them people who have this type of nose, you, do you know what I am saying? Like there is kind of class involved in this. And so the way, and she expects her man to not cheat on her. And like, I don't know, like, do you have these guys never spoken to people in rich families? Like you expect, the expectation is that you don't cheat. I don't know. Maybe he's right. Maybe those guys are more likely to cheat than other guys, but I don't think so. I think they probably cheat the same. Like broke dudes cheat. Like very, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. In my opinion, a due to wealth or social class is not what makes them cheat more. I think like if a dude is the kind of dude who cheats, then that's just who he is. He just, that's just who he is. You need to like find a completely different person. <laughs> My opinion. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I just disagree with that. He says the higher, when you get somebody top tier, I'm assuming money in class, you need to expect them to cheat. But dudes cheat regardless of their money. They could be bumming off your couch and sleep with somebody else on your couch. Like, that's how people are. The other thing that I might consider is, like, if you're famous, that's different. If you're famous, you have people who are spending money to find you and put themselves in front of you. So that's that's like a completely different category. But then also top tier should also mean like you treat you're a good person. You know, you keep to your commitments. That should also be what you consider top tier. So if you're a top tier man and you cheat, you're not you're not that top tier like what like future the baby I think these are men who this guy would consider top tier, but I don't see them as top tier. And many women do not see them as top tier. Don't get me wrong. There's still women who want to be with them, right? They're famous people. They're famous rich people. But I don't know. I don't think we consider them top tier. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. And there's a lot of top tier guys who... People just, you know, they're just, they're not in the public eye and they're not, they don't, I don't know. You can be top tier and not be in the public eye and not have people just fawning over you. Right? Like, think about it in your real life, you know? Like, maybe there's this guy at work that, that maybe you secretly crush on, but you're not like fawn, you're not fawning over him. I don't know. I hope that makes sense what I'm saying is he want he keeps wanting to speak and almost like he's trying to say this is an absolute but even if i soften it and say he's trying to speak in generalities it's still like actually i don't think so that but that's his worldview 
blah. Listen, you dumb. We are not the. Dude, I hate how they put those. They put those record scratches. They do that. They edit that. That's why I'm like, I don't know if they believe everything they say, because it's very clear that sometimes they say and do things because they know it will get a reaction of the people, right? Like. For those who can't connect dots, the f the fact that they put sound effects lets you know that they know they're trying to they're getting a reaction out of people. Okay, you got to connect dots for people these days. I I hate dumb comments. I hate dumb comments, and I try to say things in a way to try to make sure as many people as possible understood what I said. But we'll see. Oh, uh, that's a double standard. Blah blah blah. Listen, you dumb. We are not the f same. Now, before we really dive into all of, you don't need to be the same. You can still spot out double standard. Like, you don't need to be the same. Double standards can still exist, even if you're not the same. <laughs> you can try to explain why the double standard is there and why the double standard is fine you can do that but don't be mad at people for pointing it out this i do want to let you know that there happens to be this reoccurring pattern with all of these alpha male or high value male influencers and what i'm about to say regarding it is not an exaggeration for entertainment nor is it a metaphor by any means all of these people treat women like they are dogs literally treating them like yeah. they are dogs that's the main problem the way they want to treat women i don't know if this is what they actually say in real life i have spoken to this guy who's like kevin one of kevin samuel's best friends and when he was speaking to me on a one-on-one -on -one conversation and we allowed other people to like come in and in and come in on our conversation but he was speaking respectfully he was speaking he was just telling his the way he lives in a way that is respectable but these guys when they go on their podcast they don't do that and and I don't know like I don't know. I don't know if you're really like that or you just say it that way because you know it catches attention. But when they say things like submit, comply, um, these type of things, y you are you are insinuating that you think you should talk to women like they're dogs. <laughs> or and you know if that's if your woman the woman you are dating is fine with that kudos but they also try to they want some of them have this rhetoric that all women should you know, should obey obey that's another should oh, just obey a man because he's a man girl the one thing that we all are is we're all human beings okay can we, that's something I do wonder. Can y'all, the ones who want to type men and women are not the same, can you at least agree that we're both human beings? <laughs> Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, whatever. <laughs> Is that her dog? Good job, Chester. Now go make me a sandwich. One thing that's really important to keep in the back of your head regarding all of these podcasters and influencers is that they all genuinely do not believe that women are equal to men. Men and women are different. We're not equal. We're not the same whatsoever. Mm, your strategies, alpha male strategies. So the first channel we're going to take a look at here is called Alpha Male Strategies. And now okay. according to Social Blade, they have 500,000 subscribers, over half a million. You want to know something? Before Alpha Male became what it is now, there's this channel I used to watch and my partner watched too called, I don't remember the name of it, but it was like Alpha Male something. 
And the reason I watched it, I will, I watched the, these like male dating advice stuff because I was also trying to learn just how to like have better interactions in general, right? They're like some of, some of the things are like, I don't know, they work in like platonic friendly situations as well. And I don't know. I know some people make fun of his channel. If you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. If you don't, I don't remember his name. He he went on Shark Tank once. Um, he, and he sells supplements, I think, as well. And just stuff, men's stuff. I don't know. Like, he sells, like, beard trimming stuff. And I don't know. Just men stuff. Stuff for men. His whole thing was about, hey, men, here's how to look good. Here's how to know, like, what looks good on your body shape, your skin color, your, your hair type um you know here's you know have you ever wondered why you know you said abc and a woman reacted this way here's why like i don't know i was just very like this is advice for dudes and like in good faith and earnesty and just like like i don't know i was cool with it i subscribed to him i liked him okay um because i also i don't know it was cool to like know oh what kind of ties do dudes think look good so then oh i can you know i know what kind of gift to get you know, my boo, I don't know. I was just into it. Um, but now alpha male has been completely distorted to something that's just laughable, like entirely. I never heard of this alpha male strategy. <sighs> Let's like that dude needs to, the, the alpha male guy I was talking about, he needs to change his name. If you know who I'm talking about, can you please leave a comment? And I'll send him an email. Not that he'll read it, but let's send him an email that he needs to change his name because now he's going to be associated with this stuff. Million subscribers on this channel. What's up, fellas? So I had a loyal, loyal patron supporter that wanted to know, do I still get my ass licked? <laughs> what the if all you guys who are new and you maybe maybe you watch three videos and then you don't know or maybe you didn't watch a lot of my old videos, but basically what would happen was girls would act up or pull back, right? And then when they showed weakness and they called me, you was getting the sweet taste of ass. The confidence of this guy to look direct. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Listen. Um <laughs> I'm laughing because getting your booty licked <laughs> um it's something that feels good to many people. Doesn't has nothing to do with your sexual orientation, um, you know. So a lot of people, it's like, it's a nice feeling to get it licked. And what makes this really funny is, um, unfortunately, guys have the gender roles. Guys have these gender roles they have to uphold, and. If they don't uphold it, then they risk being called homosexual, which is like the worst thing ever to be mistaken for homosexual. I'm talking about in society at large for these men, especially the church. Like the church is a huge, I believe the church has a huge influence on why that is. And I'm not going to go off on a tangent because we're already half an hour in and we have a long way to go <laughs> with this. But when a dude admits that he likes getting his booty licked, they call him mean things. So his workaround for that is to say this is how you punish your woman. He he's turning it into you you get what I'm saying? He's trying to turn that into like this is how you punish her. This is how you can degrade her. No, baby, you like getting your booty licked. Like, you like it. And I think I would not be surprised if this is his fetish. Like, the role-playing. 
Do you get them? Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes people are just into role play or they have a, a fetish or a kink. And it's just funny to me that he's he's turned his kink into like a lesson that his Patreons are paying money to hear. Get it how you live, sir. <laughs> into the camera and talk about this posting this video on his page with half a million subscribers Baby. now this channel contains a lot of wonderful classics like the high value male commandments or signs she belongs to the streets or women are immature children in the beginning of each video he promotes three books the one in the middle has text that you can't even read oh yeah that's beautiful that's good the, the low quality hired someone off of fiverr to write and to write the book and design the cover this is an ebook this is a word document a dot docx <laughs> These people, that's why I don't, that's why I always wonder, do they really believe what they're saying? Because it's like, um, like any other guru, you know what I mean? Like any other BS guru, pay, buy my $3,000 course and I'll teach you how to use the law of attraction to manifest everything into your life. Like buy, you know, pay for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program and I'll teach you how to become rich. Like, like it's the same kind of crap. Even the fresh and fit guys, they have e-courses and e-books. I'm not saying there's something wrong with e-courses and e-books, but it is a red flag. It's a red flag. <laughs> to be eye-catching i literally can't even read it maybe it's because i'm a woman my womanly eyes can't see it so if she's a girl that can't wait to start eating big macs i'm sure this guy is just a joy just a pleasure to be right like i don't believe he talks like this in real life because if you spoke like this in real life you wouldn't have friends if you had friends you would just be the person that they invite to the party because they know you're going to cause a scene <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. In the company of how many times have you got? And for those who are confused, yes, there are there are people who like to be around people like this who cause scenes because it's entertainment. It's entertaining for them. That's what I meant. I dated a woman, and then three months later, that motherfucker gained twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. You was getting the best version of her fat ass. Why she was single. She was counting down the days to her to start back eating them goddamn Big Macs. Is that your biggest concern, my guy? And as soon as you it made that goddamn commitment. commitment, or as soon as you goddamn put a ring on the goddamn finger, her fat ass started eating again. Your, like, deep-rooted biggest issue is that you're afraid to get engaged with somebody or start a relationship with them because you're afraid they're going to gain weight? So this guy... Yo, remember my last video where that dude was like, you're living your life in fear, right? He would... Watch, he would never tell this dude you're living your life in fear. They will never tell this dude who's afraid to commit to a woman because he thinks she's going to get fat. You're living your life in fear. He has an entirely second channel called the Alpha Male Strategies Show. So there's Alpha Male Strategies and Alpha Male Strategies Show. Get that money. Get it how you live. According to Social Blade, they have over 100,000 subscribers, and that's also confirmed by the fact that they have a check mark on their channel. He has people calling in sometimes, and he gives advice to these people, so it's not like it's a bunch of bots or something following these accounts. No, there are hundreds of thousands of people who actually believe this, and I am dumbfounded. Some people, anybody who's commenting online, they believe it, but there are people who, you'll never see them comment, you'll never see them call in, that like take it 50 like they like half of what he says don't care about the other you know what's that saying like they don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water um i'm sorry y'all dudes can't get don't have better idols to look up to but yeah. this is the 2020 equivalent to the milady phase the fedora wearing oh, nice guy meme that would be heavily made oh. fun of back in like 2016 the next um alpha male podcast which is the fresh and fit podcast Fresh and fit gang, gang, gang. I think that's what I think that's what y'all groupies say. Y'all are groupies. Did y'all know? 
I don't know. The next time somebody want to tell me fresh and fit gang, you're a groupie, baby. Go slide in their DMs. They might let you on the show. And you know what they do to people they let on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to expect you to take them back to the crib. You know what I mean? Oh, why can't MK Brothers better than why you would see them? You have probably already heard of this podcast. This is the one that gets memed the hardest. This is the one people make fun of the most, but it is not the worst. The worst is yet to come, but let's get into this first. She can have her guy friends. It's completely fine. You're just not going to elevate her to the status of girlfriend. Do not allow a woman to bully you into a relationship while she can still hold on to her single girl tendencies. Yo, when you deal with a certain caliber of guy, you're not going to get him to yourself. Like, I, I need to drill this in women's head. Like, yo, the more money and status a man has, the less... No. L ladies, <laughs> I don't mean to cover up the other dude's face. I never mean to. It just happens that way. Like, I feel like this is his whole life. I feel like this is how it's been his whole life. He is the side note, the afterthought. Oh, he's fresh. You see his chain? It says fresh. Okay, he's the fresh one. Okay. But yeah, ladies... And gentlemen, continue to mock these guys, okay? Don't let them, if you, unless you're cool with it. Some people are cool with it. You know, good for you. But if this is a deal breaker for you, somebody who who says they want to be committed to you and then they break that, um, don't let some dude like him who whose entire life goal is to not have committed relationships don't let him beat it into your head no there are rich men who are faithful like your money doesn't make doesn't mean you're gonna be unfaithful or faithful there are broke dudes who cheat like they're getting paid for it and there are rich men who they want a monogamous relationship Meaning you don't cheat. How do I start this again? Okay. Less likely he's going to be faithful to you. In my opinion, I think a woman having Instagram is 100% cheating, especially if she has scantily clad photos of herself on the internet. She's not making money off of it. It's a trade-off. When you get a top-tier guy, guess what? Every other woman is going to want him, and you have to accept. Not true. There are top-tier guys that they're not the first pick. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, they're guys, it's not that they're, like, completely ugly, but they're just, they just don't stand out. You know, they're not famous, so they don't stand out. You don't know. Like, no. <laughs> women would, other women would only want him and, like, actively pursue him despite him being in a relationship if the dude is advertising himself via being famous, via being in the public eye. Et cetera, et cetera. The uncomfortable reality that you're gonna have to share him sexually. And at the end of the day, if you're my girl, right? You're the woman I take seriously. In other words, I'm buying the car full price. I don't want people to be able to test drive that car. So what does that mean? How do you test drive a, a woman? You know, the other day I was on Clubhouse and this dude was like, women need to give free samples of the punani. I'm like, how do you give a sample? Like stick your finger in and let him lick it? <laughs> Actually, there are dudes who pay good money for that. You don't need to you don't need to give samples out for free. <laughs> There's people <laughs> who pay for it. So the Fresh and Fit podcast is so bad that it actually got banned from TikTok. But fear not, dear viewers, <laughs> they are still up and running on YouTube. They do a lot of shorts oh, they and they also do full-length podcasts that are like two and a half to three hours long. So just to get started here, let's take a look at this guy. This guy right here is Myron Gaines. Myron seems to be the leading voice in the Fresh and Fit podcast. He is always the one in the shorts on the channel and he is always the one with the most opinionated takes on the show. Look at her Instagram profile, guys. Is she living way beyond her means? Is she in luxurious restaurants, traveling all over the place, and expensive areas and shopping? More than likely, Someone else is funding that lifestyle, and she has a taste for the fire and her things. He oh, no, baby. Uh, these days, the girlies are using a firm and afterpay, okay? It's on, everything's on layaway, baby. 
He might as well out and right say he hates women. He's already on record saying that men and women aren't equal. He definitely believes he is superior. Men and women are different. We're not equal. We're not the same whatsoever. It's amazing to me how girls want to sit here and play by the same set of rules as if we're the same. We're not. We live different realities. And if you guys don't believe me, watch our after hour show and watch the ridiculousness. Yo, the people in the comments are like forehead vein. Dude went full anime. <laughs> <laughs> he went full off Arthur Fist, full anime vein popping out. Damn. And that's the thing that I don't understand. I, I really want someone to explain this to me. Because in my other video, people were like, you're just attacking him for his feelings. You're just attacking him. You're tone policing him. I just want to know why is this very emotional for them? That's That's what I'm asking. I just... I just want to better understand why is this something that is very emotional for him? Why? Why does his why does this make him sad, upset, angry, passionate? Why does he have a vein about to bust on his forehead over this? I don't get it. Live in 4K with these girls that think they're the same as us. They're not. You're not you. I don't know why he thinks because the women they have on the show are women who have agreed to have relations with them. Why do you think having women who who are willing to lay with you? Why do you think that means you have an unbiased? First of all, women who are willing to be on your show. Second of all, they're willing to lay in bed with you. What makes you think that's unbiased? Like, there are women who can agree. That's the other thing. I feel like these dudes, when they talk about gender equality, they think all women think the same. Like, they really think women are like, like, <laughs> I don't know. What do they think of women? Women are like human beings, right? And, like, human beings have personality. Yo, if you go to the dog pound shop or whatever, the adoption center, you will see... Even freaking dogs and cats have different personalities, okay? So definitely human beings, including women, will have different personalities, different upbringings, different values, different experiences. So, like, not every woman thinks the same. And he's talking, he said, you know, I have women on who come on my show who agree with me. That doesn't mean, like, yes, you... Whatever you believe, you will find somebody who agrees with you, right? Like whatever it is you are looking for, there is somebody else in the world who wants what you're looking for. When you're hungry, Snickers satisfies. And there's always a handful of girls on the show as well. No, and for some me. reason, the dumbest thing will come out of his mouth. And all the women on the show are like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah uh -huh. that's true. I shouldn't have to say, cook for me when I come home from work. Right. Or I shouldn't have yeah. to say, the place should be spotless when I walk in. Right. I shouldn't right. have to say, keep your voice down when I'm around my friends and don't embarrass mm -hmm. me about a loud, obnoxious bimbo. Mm -hmm. But the thing Are you okay? Do you need help? Do you need like new friends? You can also <sighs> hire a- Blink twice if you need help. But no, you know, maybe they agree. Maybe they're just trying to, you know- Listen, this is not like, this is not a controlled study. <laughs> These are women who either want to sleep with them. They are. Because the, the, the DMs have been leaked. If you're a woman on that show, you went to their house. <laughs> so that's their decision you know a chef to come and cook for you you brag about being so successful and having money and being able to right that's i agree i don't understand why if you have all this money if you were poor i would understand i would understand why you're saying cook clean because you cannot afford a maid and a chef but if you have money you can so why why is it important that the woman you're dating do it why I don't get it like why does it matter if the house is clean because of the person you're sleeping with or because of the person you hired I don't get that afford luxury things so pay them for it because then it would be their job
take a little bit of that money and go to therapy, my guy. Go to therapy. Do something. Get that sorted out. Because I promise you, I promise you, even though you think you're superior to like 99% of other people out there, everybody who you think you're superior to is <laughs> laughing at you, dude. Everybody who you think you're better than does not want to be you at all because you are terrible. <laughs> and a Right. And she's right. You know, she's just finding out about him, but she's right. The dude does feel he's better. And I don't know. You can just tell he was the that comic that I mentioned earlier, the nerdy guy who nobody liked. And I, I feel like it's not just the girls in school who didn't like him. I feel like he did not have a lot of friends. He did not feel accepted. He thinks he doesn't just think he's better than women. He thinks he's better than other dudes as well. He he thinks he's better. And I let's let me know, I don't want to go into full armchair psychologist mode, but I to me I the energy he gives as well just feels like somebody who feels like this is my retribution. This is my payday. Me what's that song? Le me Venganza Sera Sera <laughs> You know that song? What's her name? India La India. Oh my god, that, I love that woman. But yeah, he's like I don't know. Like his villain orange story, I don't know. He he has he has a chip on his shoulder. That's why I think he is very emotional about these topics because these are definitely topics you can discuss like calm headed even like be excited or even passionate in some moments but the way he yells and screams it's like this this is a little intense right um I would so much rather listen to a Jordan Peterson podcast on this stuff than him because Jordan Peterson and Jordan Peterson is a very emotional man as well um but he's able to discuss but somehow and still and yet somehow Jordan Peterson is able to discuss these type of things like without showing he's so emotionally attached to it and he likes to show relevant information um relevant articles and and studies or whatever he's found i would so much rather listen to that and Jordan Peterson he wouldn't agree with everything fresh and fit is saying, but he would understand a lot of what the, the, the boy was his name, Myron. He would understand a lot of what Myron is trying to get across and he would be able to explain it in, in a way that can make sense to people. Of course, we have a plethora of double standards. It's okay for men to cheat. It's not okay for women to cheat. It's okay for men to lie about their body count. It's not okay for women to lie about their body count or they're doing it for an ulterior motive. And my personal favorite, it's okay for him to put shirtless pictures on Instagram, but if a girl shows her body in any type of revealing way, that's cheating. In fact, women shouldn't have Instagram at all because that should be <laughs> considered cheating. cheating. You see, this is when it goes from, this is so ridiculous that I can laugh at it, to this is concerning. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. And he'll say, well, it's a double standard because men and women are not the same. But there's some things where kind of doesn't matter, like a woman can have an Instagram page. Like what whatever differences that you think is so important between men and women, it's it doesn't mean she shouldn't have an Instagram. You know, like, I don't know, there's just some things that just don't make sense. And I feel like when you talk to a fan and you like get them to stop derailing and dodging questions and they like actually answer questions, they'll say, okay, no, like obviously she can have social media, <laughs> but it's like, so why are you fighting so hard to not address that? Like why, when we're calling that out, why are you tap dancing super hard to not admit that you agree with us on that part you know what I mean like I don't understand it's kind of like this cult-like mentality like they feel like they have to protect these podcast guys the fans do but it's like why like I don't know Beyonce has to be hive to go and protect her you know what I mean like celebrities have fandoms who do this you don't you don't think it's weird that you're doing you're behaving like 
like that for some guy online? <laughs> I don't know. They, I don't know. Maybe they feel like he's helped me so much in my life, you know, in which case I, I get that. But unless you feel like this man has really, truly helped you in your life, I don't understand. No, no, but it's not funny. At the end of the day, is it? It's serious. This makes me wonder out there, are there people who are in relationships like this, getting cheated on, and the person they're in a relationship with is trying it. to tell them, oh, well, I'm just biologically engineered differently. I'm wired to want to sleep with all of these other people. So you either have to accept that or we can't be together. But if you do the same thing, then it's over. Are, are people actually in relationships like that? But do not worry, dearest viewers, because <laughs> as always, a reoccurring theme in these videos it still gets worse. Mm. Andrew Tate, I don't know who this guy is. There is a person who has actually been on the Fresh and Fit podcast in a few episodes called Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is an entirely different breed of alpha. I actually have no idea who this guy is. Male. And oh boy, you. I do know I love his color saturation. Okay. <laughs> I hope he puts credits on, in his video description. <laughs> Think that this is bad? <laughs> Buckle the fuck up. So one of the first videos I've seen with Andrew Tate on the Fresh and Fit podcast is a video called The Darkest Game You'll Ever Learn. Now, I am not going mm. to show really the full clip, if oh, any wow. of the clip at all, because it is- We have a whole lot of gentlemen up here. Interesting. It's a highly inappropriate conversation for YouTube, and I don't want my video to get age restricted, but what I can say is he recommends weaponizing physical intimacy when the person you're in a relationship with is doing something that you're unhappy with. He's basically emotionally and physically like the booty looking dude manipulating his partners on like a sociopathic level. She's going to feel it <laughs> yeah. different. Yeah. And afterwards, she's going to be like, you don't you don't love me anymore, do you? You've Where's this going? You've threatened intimacy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You've threatened I, intimacy. I, and she's going to get that is gross. There's something, no, I'm sorry. There's something wrong with you. Ew. I'm sorry. It's making me think of, um, y'all know the, the basketball wife story? If you don't know, it's so sad. That's, this is what's coming into my mind because this is what one of the little kids said. Um, if you don't know, there's this, um, oh my God, why, I, it's affecting me so much. There's this show called Basketball Wives. It's a reality TV show. I don't watch it, and I might get some of these details wrong, but there's a woman named Royce, and she was dating a man. And I was told Royce, the woman, I was told the woman has a, a child, a son, I don't know how old the son is, but, you know, chi child age. Um, and already on record, that child has on their record that they essayed uh, some other little girl. And court ordered to have no interactions with any children to, who are two years younger than him. So this woman is seeing this man and she allows her son to go hang out with the man's children. T to provide a sliver of benefit of the doubt. Maybe she thought it's fine because they're all boys. Stupid. Um, so the woman's child started essaying her boyfriend's sons as well and the statements have been released and when you read what the children what these little boys have to say oh my god and one of the things the little boy said was uh the predator they will they will play video games they'll play call of duty or whatever they'll play video games and the boy, the predator would say, you know, if you make me mad, you have to, you have to, and he makes them do it and he forces them to do it and he pushes them down and to do it. 
and if he loses like they're playing the game and he loses okay you have to like like there's aggression tied to uh those type of acts like aggression i don't know if that he he wants to get it out in that way his aggression um they asked the predator boy you know why why (laughs) and he says oh i don't know i don't well he's a boy i don't know how old he is but if you're you're a child you're not gonna know (sighs) but that's what this dude reminds me of um so that's why i was getting like really emotional because it's just it's bad enough you know essay is bad enough but like when you think about how for some men you like you watch true crime you then you know exactly what i'm talking about you know ted bundy style dudes like for some men um the use of their phallic symbol is an act of aggression it's a way of releasing anger and aggression um we know that there's all sorts of corn on the cob that that show this right there's all sorts of corn where the whole setup is this woman or guy really annoyed me you fired me from my job so do you, you get what I'm saying? And it's, I don't know. I know this is not every man. I like, I know it's not every man who has this in them, but there are guys who have it to a very disturbing degree. That's why like on this alone, this man, there's something he's not okay in the head. And the thing about dudes who have like a larger than life personality it is so easy for people to just get swept up by like oh my gosh he's so cool and so popular and he's so that's the thing so confident when people are so confident in what they're saying you fall for it how did a dude like how did uh anna sorokina anna delvey trick all of those people when you just act like you are so certain You are like, you just act like this is my reality. I am a German heiress. You, are you kidding me? Do you know who I am? I'm a German heiress. When you are so certain, you can blind people. Like you can, you can turn off people's thinking mechanisms. (laughs) I had a, an actual narcissist who actually is like this. He's rich, baby. The way, the way this narcissist I'm talking about, the way he keeps acting like he's rich, but he's not. Anyway, he's rich, influential, you know, all of this stuff. And he, he taught me a lot of things. Actually, I'm not, I don't regret that I met him. He taught me a lot of things. And one of the things he taught me is he did actually say, Udoka, you've got to say things like you are not wrong. Because you could be 100% wrong talking out of your behind. But if you say that, like you're an expert, I'll believe you. That was one of the things that he taught me. (sighs) Anyway, I'm saying that's why these other men are like looking at him, right? If If this man did not have the persona that he had these men would not give this man a second look all of these men will be like there's something wrong with him actually you know i don't know who these other men are you know they could be also be just as demented as him but i'm just saying in general like guys know guys okay guys know guys if this dude andrew tate did not have his persona the guys would take one look at him and say something wrong with you and just ignore like they're not dudes don't call out that's another thing about guys Hey, I'm speaking in generalities. You like that? You like that? To the troll who's like, you need to speak in generalities, okay? You're the exception to the rule. I'm speaking in generalities. I think dudes know dudes. Um, and they don't call it out. They don't, they don't, they don't be like, hey, I think you're you're a psycho. They don't do that. 
they just if they get psycho vibes from a guy they ignore the guy okay let's hear let's listen it's no longer intimate on any level she got and then afterwards she'd be like trying to give me a hug i'm like oh wait wait i've got to go out and I'm going to change on such a small level. That will hurt her more than even losing you. Dude, instead of weaponizing physical intimacy, why don't you sit down and have a conversation with them like a normal adult? This next one pisses me off to my core. Some people can't have kids. Some people choose not to have kids. All of these dudes on the show, none of which who will ever know what it's like to bear a <laughs> child, not only decided to shame her for waiting, but then went down the row. Each single girl was asked, what would be your reason for not wanting kids or for waiting to have children? You're 35? No, I'm saying I'll no. probably have a kid when I'm 35. Ooh, but right that, now, no, that's, that's risky. I'm 23. You know, you know, at 35, I mean, your ability to bring a child to term is like significantly decreased. Right? Like See, and if it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. A life without children is, is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career. Wait, does this guy have children then? Does it... I mean, it's very easy for you to get a child. You <laughs> advertise yourself online. And you probably coerce women to, to be with you. You can have a child. But it's not like having a child is a, it's a big decision for a woman. Like the weight, the brunt of that responsibility falls on the woman. So like definitely women think of having a, a child very differently than you will matters but the truth is that your job will fire you out of women don't give a second right. don't give a solitary shit. and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren this beautiful life and you're sitting there by yourself do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy yes and he goes into the story about how his 90 year old the thing is there are many women who don't want to have kids i'm not saying the scenario he's talking about never happens I'm sure it happens, like, I'm sure, duh. <laughs> but also there are women who don't want ha to have kids and, uh, and they don't want to be threatened to have children before they're ready because of this ticking clock. Um, it costs more money, right? It costs more money when you uh, wait longer to have a child. It costs money because it costs money to adopt, it costs money to do in vitro, it costs money to hire a surrogate, it costs money. Um, the idea is that you'll have the money. <laughs> I'm going to have the money, baby. And also, like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, also, I don't, some women just don't want to be pregnant. Like, we just do not want to be pregnant. And I'm one of them. I Like, the idea of being pregnant how does one not, I don't know, to me, that is very scary. First of all, especially if you're black, your chances of dying, it doesn't matter how old you are, <laughs> your chances of dying are like higher. I don't know. There's just nothing about the experience of being pregnant that is, that, that is enjoyable to me whatsoever. Um, but anyway, um, I just, I hate people trying to scare women into, you should have kids before you're ready. And they act, and they're acting like it's for your own good. We're saying this for your own good, you know, because you're gonna be you're gonna die alone. We're saying this for your own good. I don't think you're saying it for her own good. Cause if you were saying it for her own good, um, you would look at her. <laughs> you 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 would speak in a way that's like in general, you, the way you speak would sound like you have good intentions but rather you speak in a way like you're personally triggered. You feel happy? Yes. And he goes into the story about how his 90 year old grandmother was celebrated at a party and she wasn't celebrated for her career or for her accomplishments in life. She was celebrated for all of the children that she had and all of the grandchildren that she had. But there are women who do get celebrated for their careers. You know, like, you know, both things happen. I don't know. I don't like how these guys act like the way they perceive the world is the only thing that happens. Like the old, they they act like the only the things that come out of their mouth is what happens in life. But now there are women who are celebrated for their careers. Are you kidding me? Like, it feels like every month we're celebrating another woman. Well, I guess he wouldn't know that because he uh, doesn't care about women aside from uh, weaponizing intimacy. Let me pretend I care. 
Right. Okay, I'm done. Like, I do not care about your grandma. Of Like, yes, you're her grandson. You're going to celebrate your grandma. I'm not. I don't give a damn about your grandma. Not having kids would be the worst thing that <laughs> could possibly happen. But I actually happen. do want kids. That's not the problem. I just want to be able to have kids without oh having a selfish You know what, Myron? You know what, guys? Fresh. Fresh. Exactly. That's great. She wants to have kids without having a selfish reason. Because that's the other thing. You need to understand that when you have a child, this is a human being in the world. You know what I mean? So it completely is admirable to to want to like make sure you mentally are ready for this child and you're not just having this child because it's your fantasy that is for you you know children are not an addition you know a new asset added to your empire the child is a human being and the child can pick up on that the child can pick up on if you birth them for your own selfish reasons or if you birth them because you give a shit about who they are I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Okay. Oh, oh shit. I gotta go. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. They're all listening to nothing. I swear to God. That's the other thing. They get mad when you don't agree with them about how to live your life. That's so, so weird. Like, we're not talking about like foreign policy, we're talking about what this person wants to do with their individual life. Why are they so. And this is what I asked in my other video, too. And instead of answering the question, the dudes in my comments want to say, men and women are not the same. No, I want to know why is it so important to these men that a woman accept what he's saying into her personal life? Like, why does she have to give a damn about what you value? She values something else. That's okay. Like, it's okay. I was like, yeah. Do you have a uterus? Are you going to be giving birth? Do you know what it's like to even have a period? But this guy gets even worse. Obviously. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, mm -hmm. no clubs, nothing. Bro, clean your feet <laughs> swimming pool. Andrew, they text. I was looking at that too. I was like, why is it brown? I was like, maybe it's a reflection of the leaves. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a reflection of the red whatever red he has around it girl i don't know what's wrong with his pool but you know see again is he li is he literally saying you don't need to leave the house or is he saying uh you don't need to go to places where people pick up women by yourself what is he saying and you know what i would totally believe him if he if he's like hey you dnyt yes what i meant is she needs to not leave the house which is um you don't even do that to your dog even your dog leaves the house are you kidding me it's a nice long text and they say it in a way like i'm gonna be pleased with what i read that's what's actually amazing they say hey i've got a great idea heart heart what bitch no seriously why do you refer to your partner as the b-word like there's too many red flags and i know there's women who put up with it there's women who will so he'll and he'll continue but please don't it's such a good idea i'm like what bitch she's like well you're always busy working so why don't i start a business too so that i'm not bored while you're away and we can make more money like i'm gonna and they expect me to go yay yeah great one i don't even need women to make money why would i want you making money for what i have unlimited money i have so much money what you don't have unlimited money, but okay. I want you to do is just be pleasant and- <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. Smile. Makes it very- Okay. You just wanted to be pleasant and smile. So, there may be a cute little business will make her pleasant and smile. That's what she wants. You know what this makes me think of? This makes me think of that show. Is it Omni-Man? Inv invincible boy it's like that cartoon about the superhero who like like the boy's like getting his powers and then he finds out his dad is actually like from an evil planet and he like wants to take over the world and the son was like dad what are you saying about the humans on earth and the dad's like they're puny they're they, look how easily i could just crush my their skulls they're like ants <laughs> and this one's like but dad what about mom 
whatever your mom's like a pet okay he's like didn't you love mom yeah I loved her like I love a pet that's how this guy is I don't know I wish you like just be just be straight up like you have gone this far to be (laughs) very unpleasant just say you view your women as pets they're pets to you very clear that women are incapable of holding their own business, being a CEO or having a high ranking position. Listen, bro, if your woman wants to start a business, make sure you shut that shit down. Any one of my friends who succumbs to this type of idea will no longer be my friend. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cha, bro. Not only that, but he also does this cute thing. Shut the f- up. You know, women don't have a ch- clue how f- business works. That wouldn't ever work. Like, wow, that is so funny, dude. There's a reason. There's something wrong with him. I am so, like, just wait in a few years. No, I'm so. <laughs> There's something wrong with him. That's all. That's all. And I don't start any stupid business for bitches because I'd lose my temper with one of them. I'd set the whole f- place on f- fire. There's something wrong with him. Like, I'm. <laughs> Someone in the comments could be like, you didn't attack his argument. You just attacked him. You just didn't add hominin attack. Um, yeah, um, this is not an ad hominem attack. I'm reacting. There's something wrong with Andrew Tate, like mentally. Um, as to what he's saying, I mean, if, if he doesn't want his woman to have a business, kudos for him. Like what, what, is, what am I supposed to argue? If you want to be irate, smacker, call her B word, um, threaten how you'll burn the place down because you can't control your temper like, I can't, like, I can't argue again. Like, if that's who you are, you're just letting, you're letting us know who you are. And my reaction to that is there's something wrong with you. What? Andrew Tate's actually a pretty popular kickboxer, and he's also working on his own glorified club. Andrew Tate has a website called The War Room. The War Room is the greatest global network which exists on planet Earth. The War Room is a global organization with members, bases, and influence in over 70 countries. Our network contains a varied expertise, which allows us to exert influence globally. Every member has either achieved... Dude, there's something wrong with him. No, it's great to have great plans and all of that. I'm just, all of this together, like when you put all of this together, some of you might be like, what's wrong with his club? It is the grandeur. Um, so this is the best ever, global influence. Like he's talking like he's setting up his own little Illuminati and you know very, you know very well that's not what it is. You know very well. Um, it's, listen I think it's great to to dream big okay dream big but it's all of the symptoms that we that he displays when you put all of it together or is working towards the ultimate goal of all intelligent men freedom in a world of slavery wait 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 wait. Mm, kind of like how you want your women to be in wait wait. it has an option to send a little message here how do you want to change your life what do I do if I am a woman? Yes, I know. When I recorded this, I somehow messed up the frame, so half of the picture was cut off. I almost didn't add it in this Explain. video, but then I decided that I still would. Explain. Men. No, that's... They closed the chat! It won't let me do the chat again. Oh, no. No, I'm not gonna subscribe. They blocked me. Or probably. I don't know. I either press backspace and can't get it back, or they kicked me off. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Like, what if I am a woman? Explain. Oh, by the way, if you want to join the War Room Club, it's 4,100 euros. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. It's not a club. It's not like an actual club. It's... Yeah, full of influential. Yeah, so influential. No, like, you know, like real clubs that have influence, you don't just pay four grand to get in. That's actually kind of laughable. Dude, that's actually kind of laughable like i'm i'm it's i would expect like ten thousand dollars because that's how much it is like when you go to like a tony robbins event type of thing if you want to be in vip with the influential people it's at least 10 grand this is only this is less than five thousand dollars right like is that's how you convert the currency right the pound the pound is like almost like the u.s dollar 
But the actual clubs that have global influence, um, you can't join it from some guy's website. You have to, first of all, be invited, per, like personally invited. Or over $4,500. Okay, we need to pause for a moment here. When I began recording this video, I was planning on sitting here cracking a few jokes about this cringy alpha male content. But I guess they came back to bite me in the ass because this is where everything takes a really unexpected turn. While I was looking into this, a YouTuber named Danny Gonzalez made a video pointing out some very questionable paragraphs written on the War Room's website. Oh it raised a few eyebrows for sure, but other than what he mentioned here, nothing else really became of it from what I could see. I went to the website- Human trafficking? I would not be surprised to find it, and as many could expect, the paragraph was gone. It was just a big empty space oh. underneath this PhD program page. But I don't really give up that easily. I went to yeah. an archiving website where a copy of the web page yes, was saved before this was deleted. It seems like Mr. Tate didn't want the attention on this part of his luxurious womanizing lifestyle. Unfortunately, things get much worse than what was showed in- Y'all, didn't I tell you there's something wrong with him? Oh my god. Yo, trust your gut. Trust your instincts. Do not let anybody ever guess at you about your instincts. Don't. 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 I have this podcast with another YouTuber. And she's always like, You do, you don't. You don't talk on this podcast the way you talk in your voice memos to me. And the reason for that is sometimes I, ha I, I'm not able to fully articulate why I think something. I just think it, you know what I mean? I'm just seeing like red flags and I put it together in my head. Anyway, sometimes you feel something about a person, about a, a person and you can't articulate why you feel that way. Don't not ever let anybody gaslight you. Uh, yes, I'm saying the word gaslight because, because sometimes people will try to actually not just like say you're wrong. Saying somebody's wrong is not gaslighting them. But sometimes I've had it happen to me where the person knew I just felt something was very wrong. The person knew exactly what was wrong. They knew I was right. But literally every day he was like, no, you're, you're overthinking it. Stop. Like, and he would be like, well, what about X, Y, Z? And what about this? And what about that? Huh? You see, you're just overreacting, like literally gaslighting. You know what I mean? Trying to convince me to question and doubt myself, even though he knew I was 100% correct. And I didn't have all the evidence and ways to, to explain why I thought what I thought. And that's why I was coming to him, asking him, are you sure? Are you sure? I really think, do, 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 but. And then I, and then the, the person that I was suspicious of told me with their own damn mouth. Just don't ever let somebody make you doubt your gut. Like you, you thought that for a reason. It's not, I don't even think it's like a spiritual mystical thing. I think your brain uh, sense a pattern and it means something. And I don't know, I'm not saying that you're going to be right 100% of the time, but you're going to find, you're going to find that something, some aspects was right. So usually that's my philosophy. That's my philosophy. I don't know. And on my podcast, I don't just say everything that comes to my head because you do want to give benefit of the doubt. You know, especially if you cannot articulate, if you're saying publicly something and you can't articulate, why do you think that? But anyway, girl, let's see. Danny Gonzalez's video. I'm so glad he pointed this out though, because this seriously needs to be talked about. There's lots of photos that I'll be blurring out here because they'll get my video age restricted, but let's read the text, shall we? Oh, my I'm name you. is Andrew Tate. I'm a retired four times world champion kickboxer who is now a multi-millionaire, and I'm the most competent person on the entire planet to teach you about male to female interactions. Okay, let me start, let me start. Now that we know that there's some, there is something wrong with him, um, <laughs> I'm going to start like explaining red flags as I see them 
So red flag here. Um, I am the most competent person on the entire planet to teach you blah, 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 blah. Uh, delusions of grandeur. What evidence you told us that you're a world, ch if this was a kickboxing website and you told, yo, even if this was a kickboxing website and he put, I'm the most competent person on the entire planet to teach you how to kickbox, I would say that's a red flag. Um, it would be, it would be more appropriate, right? You just told us you're four time world champion. Um, maybe you have a big E, maybe you have Kanye level ego. Okay. It's just, I will still think there's something wrong with you, but I would buy a kickboxing course from you. I would, I would let you teach me kickboxing and just, you know, take the good, like, well, something wrong with him, but he, he, he good at what he does. But the fact that um, he's bragging about himself, about something unrelated, and he says he's the most competent in the entire world, didn't give us any evidence related to male-female interaction. You don't have a degree in it. Uh, you're not, like, the, you have not shown us what makes you the most competent in the entire planet like above people who do like double blind studies about this stuff. Like you're so immediately red flag. How did I become rich? Webcam. Why am I an expert on all male to female interactions? I've been running a webcam studio for nearly a decade. I've had over 75 girls work for me and my business model is different than 99%. I'm so sorry. You are, you are the most competent in the entire world because 75, not even 100, 75 women? You're an expert. You've worked, you ran a webcam studio used by 75 women. <laughs> Nobody can compete with that. Do you see, like, he's ridiculous percent of webcam studio owners over 50 percent of my employees were actually my girlfriend at the time and of all my okay so let's do the math what what you hired 75 women and out of 75 37 of them became your girlfriend you're you're an expert you're the expert do you there is somebody watching who doesn't see how how this is ridiculous. I, gu I guarantee there's somebody watching who's like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> there's somebody watching who's like, yeah. If he's had 37 girlfriends, like, he definitely knows what he's talking about. <laughs> My girlfriends. So for, for if you're like that, let me explain this. Um, he's an expert uh, at himself. He's not an expert for other people if he showed us how in other people's relationships um if he showed us how he did peer-reviewed research on other people's relationships in different population groups then it would make sense to say he's the most competent but if his experience is his own 37 girlfriends that he probably had some form of abuse in the relationship, you're less than, you are, you are the complete opposite of competent. None were in the adult entertainment industry before they met me. My job. Being, the fact that, so you're proud that you got women who weren't in adult entertainment now they're in adult entertainment that doesn't make you, you okay if this website was about how to set up a lucrative webcam business say you're the best in the world say say you're the best in the world you're you're i still think there's something wrong with you but at least it makes sense the, he doesn't even make sense was to get women to fall in love with me. Literally, that was my job. My job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, test if she's quality, get her to fall in love with me to where she'd do anything I say, and then get her to go on a webcam so we could become rich together. Whether you That 
This is what pimps do. Oh my God. So, okay. Another reason why you're not the most competent. It's 75 women that you've been able to pimp. Okay. Male women interactions are more than just, will you allow me to pimp you out? Can I coerce you, brainwash you, seduce you to be pimped out? Okay. And just because you got 75 of them does not make you competent in male women interactions. If you agree or disagree with what I did with their loyalty, submission, and love for me, it doesn't matter. You cannot reject the results. And the results... Yeah, the results are you... You pimped. You you were a pimp. That, you know, not all of us are looking to pimp. Not all of us are looking to pimp or be pimped. Results are simple. My girlfriends would do more for me than 99.9% .9 of... Yes, because you are their pimp. Like... It is essentially their job to do more for you. Some of us want like a relationship, you know, like a, cons a completely consensual relationship. Some of us are looking for of men's wives would do for them. What did I learn in this job? First thing, keeping four girlfriends all happy is hard work and leaves you with very little time. So you learn how to streamline getting new good girlfriends. All women are not created equal. This is how I came up with what is now the PhD system. I learned the most time efficient way to meet girls, get them through the dating process, get them to bed, test if they're good or not, and be- It's not a dating process. It's you're vetting to see if it's a woman you can manipulate. It's not a dating process. Oh my god, dude. Like, he's trying to... <laughs> you're crazy, my guy. <laughs> oh in the process of them falling deeper and deeper into love that is my skill to extremely efficiently get women in love with me that's it and no one on the internet is no that's not it it's because then they started webcamming for you and you took the profits because remember you also have that video saying you don't need to make money together but on your website you're talking about we made money together but we know no they made money for you pimp daddy teaching this no one who were most my webcam girls customers that's not even a proper sentence but whatever rich men being rich won't save you from a life of misery with women who don't want you guess what else being yeah i don't i don't get you can be a high-end escort that that doesn't make you an expert in in men women interaction if this was a how to be a lucrative webcam girl you know the great website great great sales pitch <laughs> strong won't save you either if you're shit with women nothing you do financially or physically will save you look at jeff b well actually yeah because you just said the webcam girls customers were rich men so they did something financially that saved them right Bezos. submission loyalty admiration and the love cannot be bought it can Wait, look at Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is not known for having a harem of women. You kidding me? If you're talking about all the fans of Jeff Bezos, um, I see men fangirling over Jeff Bezos, submitting to him, being loyal to him, admiring him, loving him. But this is a website that's supposed to teach male women interaction, not male male interaction i don't get it and not be forced and it's not luck will the phd system change your life do you have a girl who completely trusts your decisions will do anything you say and loves you deeply yes or no if your answer is yes i guarantee 90 percent of you are this makes me think of like <laughs> like you want to hip you want to hypnotize them you will do anything i say you don't want a human being just get a robot dude i cannot wait for elon musk to invent robots for these guys lying to yourselves read the question again understand what i mean when i say anything and ask yourselves if you've ever tested your belief if your answer is no you're missing out on one of life's greatest pleasures dude there's something wrong with you he it's one of his greatest pleasures to have ultimate control on another human being dude doesn't matter because for people like this, 
even if Elon Musk made the most realistic robots ever, that's not enough. They need to know that they can take a human being, uh, a, a person, an entity who has supposed free will, right? A dog doesn't have complete free will. He needs to know that he can take a human being and control that human being. So that's why pets, animals, robots, AI, that's not going to be enough for him. For your age, you should have a loving girlfriend. If you're too busy to get one, good. The PhD system was made for you. If you're happy touching your own D, this power is not for you. What exactly do you get with the PhD program? Hours of video content where I teach you how to text women, how to build your social medias to pick up women. Best. You don't have time for this. This was his job. It was, he got paid, okay? So when he's recruiting women into his, um, whatever, into his scheme, he's getting paid for that. But if you're a dude who's looking for love, you don't have time for this. You don't have time to go through copy and paste uh, to, because you have to have a, a plethora of women that you're going through. Like, you, you can't just talk to, like, two, two ladies, <laughs> it's not going to work. You have to have like 20, you have to have like 20 women that you're trying this on to see if one of them is going to, um, you know, is susceptible to this manipulation. First dates to bring women on, best follow-up dates, how to approach women, the framework that all male to female interactions are based on, how to test to see if a woman is high quality, my opening lines, how to get women in bed, the critical mistakes most men make, how to stay on her mind without interaction, and why this all works so well. I also offer full Telegram support for all questions and specific scenarios you come across for one year. Any question or problem you have will be solved. Final thoughts. I will be teaching you every step to building a girl who is so Submissive. This ain't build a bee. You don't get to pick and choose bigger ass and bigger boobs. If my <laughs> dude, he really typed building a girl. Get a robot, but like we said, a robot's not gonna be enough for them. I it when it comes to these, just watch true crime. Okay, if you watch true crime, you know exactly what I mean. But when it comes to these type of people, there is a thrill. There is a, I don't know, there's a pleasure they derive from knowing they, they control, they're controlling another person, another free-willed individual. Like this person has free will, but I can, I'm controlling them. Like it, it like, it's like a high for them. You might know somebody like this. Like if you know somebody with narcissistic personality disorder or anti-personality, anti-social personality disorder, they, they have, this is like a drive for them. So for some of them, well, for the anti-personality disorder, for some, some of them, not all of, not all anti-personality, anti-social people have this drive but some of them do um people with narcissistic personality disorder um i think they do i think they have it like i think anyway Loyal and in love with you. From your first message to testing if you want to keep her as long as you want the relationship to go on, I am the most capable man in the world to teach you this power, and I am 100%. You're actually not big pimp daddy because there are bigger pimp daddies than you. Like, you really think you got it popping like that? There are, there are pimp daddies who have trafficked even more women than you. He would be so mad if he heard that clip. Just clip that audio and send it to him. He'll be so mad. He'll be like. <laughs> Confident in my program. I have a warning. There's responsibility when you have someone completely loyal to you. I've had some girls for over a decade. When someone gives themselves to you, absolutely, their life. And the other, the other thing I want to say is there is a possibility that this is a kink, I think. I don't think this was a kink, but. It's possible. It's possible that this is role play kink. You know, I kind of doubt it because he would just he 
he would have entered the king community. You know what I mean? He would have he would have gone to yeah, I don't think this was just a kink. I mean, maybe for him, but it wasn't like um you know, when you enter the kink I'm not I am not a part of that community, by the way, okay? But I am aware that that community is very heavy on consent, very heavy on like no manipulation, protect yourself, that kind of thing. Um, and that wouldn't do for him. That won't do because to have a woman who's like, yes, I will willingly be your slave dog. Like, f that, I think to this guy, the thought of a woman like wanting that, like already meeting him, like, this is what I want. I want you to degrade me. The thought of a woman like that, that's not, that would be a turnoff for him. He wants to have the ultimate control path is in your hands. I can't imagine why this is suddenly missing from his website, but this gets way worse because there is another page that was captured on the archiving website. Let it be known that these paragraphs were up a month ago. These were freshly removed from the website. The paragraphs here essentially explain how Andrew will teach you how to recruit women to make an OnlyFans business in a similar way he's done to recruit women for his own business, which also pisses me off because there are plenty of women out there making themselves a business through OnlyFans and other websites that need no help from another person. But you know what's funny? He In the earlier video, he was like, what do I need a woman? I don't need a woman to make money. What do I need a woman to make money? But his whole, on this website, he's talking about how he only made his money through the use of 75 women. But earlier he was like, I don't need a woman to make money. I have unlimited money. But here he's going to, you're going to pay him money so he can teach you how desperately you vitally need a woman to make this money. That is crazy. That is very, dang. Here we have Andrew Tate stepping in and recruiting women for himself and showing you how to do the same. But what I really want to take a look at here are the text message testimonials. He has actual customers. So not only is he doing this shit, he's creating a- I don't know. Does he have customers? Or are they just his friends? Like when it comes to these e-courses and stuff, you can't- Them testimonials a lot of times are fake. I'm sorry. Or people who didn't pay. <laughs> girl. I don't know, girl. Mm. Bunch of Andrew Tate knockoffs that are doing the same exact. Guys, I have to tell you, this is putting a massive dent in the uni expenses. <laughs> Boy, how did you have time for this? Not just for me. That is crazy. I could see this working in college. I mean, you just... <laughs> You'd have to like find the girls on campus who who would be willing, you know, the girls who've like, yeah, I've thought about it and just be like, listen, I'll set it all up and let's we'll split it 50 50 or whatever. Like you're doing you're basically doing a deal. You're doing a deal. Um, I mean, that could work in college. Thing is him. How is not just for me, but for the missus as well. If we continue at this rate, we would have paid off our student debts before we graduate. Oh, so this guy didn't use, this guy was already dating someone and they both agreed to do this. They both said, this is a good idea. The only question, to, question then is what to do with our degrees, LOL. No, like people do that. People do that. I would have done that if I had met my partner in college. I don't know if he would do it. Maybe. There's a lot of people who wouldn't do this. <laughs> There's a lot of people like this is just a line that they're not willing to cross. But I, I, I know there are people who do. There are couples who. They're like, might as well make money off of it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this is a, a customer. Was this even legal? Guys, I have to tell you, this is putting a massive dent in the uni expenses. Not just for me, but for the... I guess it could be uh, him and his wife are recruiting women together. I don't think y'all are doing that. I don't know. Like, I... Uh, Girl, I just, uh, I just don't believe or trust testimonials from, especially 
um, people that there's something wrong with them. And they like, they put that on display. You know what I mean? Like when you, <laughs> what do we do with our degrees? Well, what I did was simple. I had a few female friends who were doing this kind of thing already, but with all the actionable content provided by you and the girls on this course, they are making more than ever. I Again, another guy who had, this is what I'm saying. Like you can, if you're willing to deal with the embarrassment, because that is embarrassing to like try to befriend girls and like start talking to them about OF, but <laughs> you can totally do this. There are definitely young women in university who have thought about it or they're already doing it. And if you can show that you can add value to what they're already doing, I'm, I'm, I sound like I sound like one of those financial bros if you can add value like you can <laughs> but no but truly this boy showed that he can add value to their current business model and they started working together and like you made profits together and yet again like showing that you definitely can make money with your with girls with women even though when he was next to his dirty pool, he wants to say, I don't need you to make money. Yes, really, yes, you do. And your testimonials needed that too. I literally told them to stop working with me unless I could double their incomes. I knew you guys did this for a living for a long time, but man, I am sold. I'll keep this, make, this really makes me feel like you're. In, this is not a paying customer. I don't know. Man, I am sold. If he was a paying customer, he was already sold, right? He wouldn't He wouldn't have said that. I don't know. Keep you updated. To be honest, the wife has always been a bit of an exhibitionist, dresses nicely, and posts photos on her Instagram page. I didn't think there was a way to monetize that, but boy, have you lads changed my mind. We've only just started out, but the extra grand or two she's bringing in has essentially doubled our household income. But again, by the dirty water, he was like, we don't need to make money together. And now you're posting this test of this fake Come, testimony. Especially being stuck indoors with this virus nonsense. It's been a lifesaver. I had thought about doing this kind of thing. For dude, this is a dude making... I'm sorry. This is so For a long like... time. The problem is that there are... This is not an advertisement for you. This is a guy who found out... You can make money selling pics and videos. So they make... Like there are so, do you know, there's so many courses. There's like so many other courses uh, that are cheaper. There are no real guides to explain what to do. I had made myself an OnlyFans account. I had made myself an OnlyFans account for, but other girls online never explain what to do. I guess they won't want to give the secrets away. This is absolutely wicked. And the girls in this course are so sweet for explaining this. The last testimonial seemed to be a Oh, wow. He has this the dude. Andrew Tate, does he have his cam girls teaching the course? <laughs> girl who was talking about how this benefited her with her own OnlyFans business, which is fine, but the other situations seem really, really creepy to me. Now, what is extremely interesting to me is that even though what is on this page has mostly been deleted, you can still see the reviews posted without going to an archive website. After yeah, okay, they're totally real. Edwin Embl Embis pointing that out. <laughs> Five star review. They they. T I don't freaking, I don't believe these are real people. <laughs> I don't know if it's such. Like, this website is scammy to me. Suddenly going to disappear in a month, but I thought I'd just mention it. I know that this wasn't a full on deep dive and there could be tons and tons of other things that I can show you in this video regarding each channel we've discussed today, but I think I'm going to end this here. I just wanted to summarize this as a topic rather than go by creator by creator by creator. Clearly, they have a large enough following so people believe this shit and take it like gospel enough of them to where they have this level of yeah but this is just another you know lifestyle guru scam scheme uh, huh. i don't want to say i don't want to it's 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 just another i can help you change your life pay me four grand here's here are some fake testimonials a cropped image of a text message and the way the text messages are written i just they don't sound like somebody who paid money for the course they don't and here here's some first names of people who who clicked five stars website is scammy 
popularity so, online. If you are in any type of relationship with somebody like this, please get out. I cannot foresee any yeah, type of healthy relationship. Um, I was... I dated a guy who was kind of... Like, I didn't know he would... Back then, there were not a lot of dudes advertising themselves like Andrew Tate. But, like, when I look back on it, I was like, oh, he probably wanted to be like that. Um, I didn't like him. Uh, he, he kept trying to sleep with me. Um, and I didn't want to, I didn't actually like him, but he just kept like demanding, you're my girlfriend, you're my girlfriend, you're my girlfriend. I was like, okay, fine. You can call me your girlfriend. If that makes it, if that will make you shut up, <laughs> you can call me your girlfriend. I kept talking to him because he was giving me validation. You know, he made me feel like, oh, maybe I'm not a complete loser. But every now and then he would say some nasty things. Um, and I was like, why would he say that? You know, I think maybe the response he was hoping for is, oh, my gosh, you're the I guess you're the only one who could ever love me. But to me, it was just like, why would you say that? I thought you're supposed to be my friend. Why are you saying this to me? Anyway, um finally was the last straw and I was like I am never talking to you again um the why it's really important to me and I'm really glad that people are making fun of these guys and and making videos and stuff um in negative response to these guys is because um they can really influence people they can really influence guys to think this is normal this is how you're supposed to treat a person and they can influence young women into thinking this is the type of treatment I have to expect um and I did I thought maybe this is what you're supposed to expect and then I realized actually that's that's stupid so uh, that was really interesting to Mimi. Thank you. What are your thoughts? I mean, we've been here for almost two hours. And these guys are not going to... Let me center myself. These guys are not going to stop, okay? They have... Relationship. You know, even freaking Ty Lopez is still doing his thing. Like, these people, once you have established yourself and you have a fan base, you, you're not... You don't stop okay uh even dave hollis you know he said he was going to take a, a break for his mental health and uh he decides that he wants to come back these people never stop <clears throat> the the only thing that happens is they just become irrelevant like the trend of it becomes irrelevant right like there was a time here on youtube where raw veganism was the hip thing to do when everybody was trying to become raw vegan and people would speak out against it like this is not healthy this is you're going to become underweight da -da -da. you you might be supporting your eating disorder da -da -da. and people would make videos against it and eventually over time it's no longer the trend and people are able to look back and say that was kind of dumb that was kind of dumb. I only ate watermelon for like two weeks. That was the only thing I ate. That's That was kind of dumb. Yeah. Don't do that, right? And people who used to promote raw veganism now have, you know, all these videos about why they're no longer vegan and this and that. It's, it's a trend. When something is just goes too far, and there will always be something that people take just too far. <laughs> You just took it too far, right? And not and not everybody will fall for it, right? During the raw vegan thing on YouTube, it wasn't everybody who's like, I'm going to become a raw vegan. But people were like, you know, I could stand to eat more fruits and vegetables, right? Like people don't like buy. It's not majority of people who just 100% buy into it, right? The one thing I can respect about Fresh and Fit is 
he is trying to get guys to feel like they're not the loser. Like he's trying to make guys feel like, you know, I'm a prize. I'm a prize to be won. They're trying, you're trying to make guys feel more confident about themselves and not feel like so lowly and peasant like because well, I'm the guy and I, I can't get any girls. He's trying to lift her self esteem. And I get that, right? And I think like a reasonable person will be able to take that just like on the raw vegan thing. You can be like, I can eat, I sure, I'm not going to eat 30 bananas a day, but I could eat one or two because I haven't had fruit in three months, okay? <laughs> but then there is that sliver of people who they do take it as gospel. They take everything, even if the guy just said that to be facetious or uh, to stir up the pot so that he can get more followers and be talked about. There, there is that sliver of person, people who will say, oh my gosh, I, ha I guess that's how it is. Or I guess that's what I have to do. And you no, know, I don't think it's fair to just say, well, those people are stupid. Those people deserve it because sometimes those people are just young or naive. They don't have life experience to, to, to let them know that's not how it actually is. And they're looking up to these people to try to learn. <laughs> and um, as long as people keep making these videos in response, um, it lets other people know that, hey, <laughs> you know, take a second, like, take a second listen. You know, if you think the sky is the end all be all, take a second listen. You know, it allows people to, you know, kind of snap out of if they're in a daze just kind of snap out of it and think for yourself and eventually this will become another fad and we'll be like hey remember those alpha get alpha male guys <laughs> anyway thank you for watching you could have been spending two hours with anybody else in the world um i'm not looking forward to the comments on this because this is a two-hour video and if it were me i would not sit and watch and wait two hours before I comment <laughs> so we'll just see I just felt the need to suppose something child I haven't posted in a little bit until next time much love much luck peace out I was trying to do a, a cute little closing and I messed it up but thanks for watching